Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we learn about a very basic thing in geometry, which is an angle. Okay, so we'll find out what an angle is. And to do that, what I'm going to do first of all is draw a straight line like this. Okay, let's call it O A. Okay, so I have a straight line O A. And what I'm going to do is draw another line on top of it that starts at O and is right on top of OA. Okay, so this line, let me call this OB. Okay, so this line is OB. Now, what I'm going to do is show you what an angle is. Okay, so I take this line OB and I rotate it. Okay, this is how I rotate it. I turn it or I rotate it. Okay, and this is what I get. A line OB, which is now away from the line OA, but it still meets the line OA at the point O. Okay, I had a line OB, this one, that was right on top of OA. Then I took that line and I turned it or I rotated it. Now, how much I rotated that line from the other line makes up the angle between the two lines. So this is the angle, the amount by which I rotated the line OB, this is the angle between the two lines. Okay, so this is the angle. So quite simply, an angle is the amount of turning between two lines meeting at a point. Okay, so this is the point where the two lines meet and the amount of turning between them is the angle. Now, this is an angle Let's call it, uh, maybe let's give it a name, let's say X, okay? So this is angle X, and it can also be written as AOB, okay? So angle X can also be written as AOB, or it can also be written as angle BOA. The trick is that O should be in the middle, okay? So you know that O is the meeting point of the two lines. So you can either write it as angle X. Okay, this over here is the symbol for angle. So you can write it as angle X or you can write it as angle A, O, B. O is in the middle. Okay, do note that. Or you can write it as B, O, A. Okay, so that's how you read or write angles. But what we're going to do next is we're going to measure angles. Okay, and to measure angles, what we use is something we call a protractor. Okay, there's a geometrical instrument called a protractor. Okay, now how do you measure angles? Well, this is the center of the protractor. Okay, I put the protractor aside here first. This is the center of the protractor. You place this point on top of O. Okay, because O is the center of the angle. So you Put it here at point O and then if you're going to measure the angle between OA and OB, then you place the zero on one of the lines. Okay, You could either place it on OB or you could place it on OA. It's one and the same. Okay, and then you count or you measure the readings. Again, each small reading is at an interval of one degree. Okay, angles are measured in degrees and each of these little uh, markings here is one degree. All right, so now let's read. How many degrees are there between OA and OB? Well, there are 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, and 38. So there are 38 degrees between OA and OB. This is equal to 38. This whole thing, this whole turning is equal to 38 degrees. Okay, so that's the angle between OA and OB. So angle X is equal to 38 degrees. Okay, this little O over here on top of 8 is the symbol for degrees. Alright, now that we know what an angle is, how about we learn about a few different types of angles now, okay? So, let's clear all this first. And this is what I'm going to draw next, okay? I make a few angles here. This angle. Okay, let's call it A... O, B. Then let's use another color. Let's make another angle. This one over here, let's call it P, Q, R. Then let's make one more. Okay. Let's see. Let's call it X, Y, Z. All right. 
and actually one more okay this one over here let's call it s t u all right now what we're going to do next is find out the angle between each of these pairs of lines okay the white pair the yellow pair the blue pair and the pink pair okay so this one over here is angle a o b all right because it's the angle between a o and o b so it's a o b and we're going to use a protractor and measure this angle now let's see this angle is equal to about 45 degrees so let's write that down here this is equal to 45 degrees okay now next let's measure the angle between the yellow lines so here it is we place the protractor with the center on q because q is where the two lines meet then the zero is on pq then we go from zero and see that qr is at an angle of 90 degrees with pq so we write that down this is equal to 90 degrees so this angle over here is equal to 90 degrees okay next let's put the protractor here on x y and check how much angle it makes with y z so let's see we move the protractor place it on point y or line x y and see that it makes an angle of about i can well, actually you can't see that clearly here but it's roughly equal to 118 degrees okay so we'll write that down this angle is 118 degrees the angle between x y and y z is 118 degrees and finally the pink pair of lines let's see the angle between st and tu well st and tu are at an angle of let's see this is 180 degrees as you can see this is one straight line so the angle on a straight line is 180 degrees it's a whole protractor full okay so this angle over here is equal to 180 degrees all right now all these angles are the different types of angles that i wanted to talk about now this angle over here is equal to 45 degrees and we call this angle an acute angle acute angle okay and why we call this acute angle is because it's less than 90 degrees so any angle that's less than 90 degrees is acute angle it could be 45 it could be 25 it could be 30 it could be 31 or it could be 89 so any angle as long as it's less than 90 degrees it's acute angle now let's move on to the next one this one that's equal to 90 degrees okay so if it's equal to 90 degrees then we call that angle as a right angle and the way to denote this right angle is not by this arc but by this symbol over here it's one horizontal line and one vertical line and we don't use this arc actually okay so maybe we can erase this one okay so this is your 90 degrees and this is your right angle and in a right angle the two lines are perpendicular to each other so pq is perpendicular to qr and this is how you write it pq is perpendicular to qr and therefore the angle pqr is a right angle okay so pqr is a right angle and we'll write that down this is a right angle because it's equal to 90 degrees so that's the second type of angle how about this one well over here what we see is that it's more than 90 degrees so any angle that's more than 90 degrees is called an obtuse angle okay so we write that down this angle is called an obtuse obtuse angle so simply any angle that's more than 90 degrees is an obtuse angle an angle that's 91 degrees is also obtuse an angle that's 118 degrees is also obtuse and an angle that's 200 degrees is also obtuse so any angle as long as it's more than 90 degrees will be an obtuse angle okay so that's the third type of angle how about this one the pink one over here well the pink one over here is simply a straight line a straight line because 
this is 180 degrees, one protractor foot. So this is simply a straight line. Okay, so these are a few different types of angles. Acute angle that's less than 90 degrees, right angle that's equal to 90 degrees, and obtuse angle that's more than 90 degrees, and a straight line that's equal to 180 degrees. Well, that's that. I think I've talked enough for this lesson. I am going to end this right here, and I hope that you will now go and practice some exercises as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.